Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The 27th anniversary of the liberation of Shushi. Turkey has bought chemical weapons from Nazi Germany for their sim massacres. Syrian army attacks Turkish observation post area near Idlib border. Armenia participates in Hog Wine Festival. Armenia is the most fascinating place you can visit this summer. Matador Network. Dear friends and compatriots, 27 years ago, in April of 1992, military preparations for the liberation of Sushi began in Stepanakert. From the very beginning and within the framework of these military preparations, the trainers of the Liberation Army were engaged in training volunteer soldiers to liberate Sushi under the command of Arkady Der Tatevusyan. In addition to preparations for the liberation of Sushi, all the fronts of Artsakh's territory were under the control of volunteers to prevent attacks by the Azerbaijani army. The liberation of Shushi for the Armenian people symbolized not only the liberation of Artsakh, but also the liberation of the aspirations of the Armenian people, the restoration of its independence, including Western Armenia. Since the liberation of Artsakh was carried out with the participation of volunteers from Western Armenia, I would like to remind that on December 17, 2004, in Shushi, the National Council of Western Armenia officially announced the right of the Armenian people to self-determination and the right of Western Armenia to independence. Today we celebrate the 27th anniversary of the liberation of Shushi. Tomorrow we will celebrate the liberation of all Western Armenia. Before this Khachkar in Marseille, which is the only one in Europe, in memory of the volunteers of Artsakh liberation, we say congratulations to all Armenians and all nations that won a great victory in World War II. Congratulations with the historic liberation of Shushi. Congratulations with the third anniversary of the Constitution of Western Armenia. Congratulations on the 99th anniversary of the legal and final international recognition of the state of Western Armenia. On May 11, 1920, 99th anniversary of recognition by the United States of America of the state of Armenia in the territory of Western Armenia. Please accept my sincere congratulations on our special holidays. Glory to Artsakh, glory to Western Armenia, glory to the Armenian people. Mentioned Armenak Abrahamian, President of the National Council of Western Armenia, in his speech. New documents revealed that the founder of Turkey, Ataturk, bought chemical weapons from Nazi Germany and used it for the Alevi massacres in Dersim. The Turkish state killed thousands of civilians in Dersim, northern Kurdistan, in 1937. The documents show that Ataturk ordered the toxic gas to be transported to El Aziz and be used against civilians in Dersim, Kurdistan. Ataturk proves a Hitler that killing civilians with a poisonous gas is not a crime. Then Hitler goes on his way and does exactly the same thing to the Jews in Germany. Former Turkish Minister of Foreign Affairs Ihsan Sabri Çaygalangil admitted that the Turkish army used chemical weapons against women and children trapped in caves and exterminated the entire population of Dersim. Nazi Germany has delivered Turkey the Henkel planes. Chemical attacks in Dersim were carried out by these planes. Sabiha Gökçen, Ataturk's adopted daughter, was one of the pilots flying on Dersim when Turkish aviation dumped toxic gas on the Kurdish population. The Syrian Arab army launched several shells towards the Turkish observation post area north of Kalat al-Madik on Sunday. According to a military source in northwestern Hama, the Syrian army fires several artillery shells north of Kalat al-Madik after militants from Hayat Tahir al-Sham and the Turkish-backed National Liberation Front attacked the historical town earlier in the day. The source said that their artillery shells did not hit the actual Turkish observation post, as they know the location of this military site. Opposition activists accused the Syrian army of killing one civilian during the attack on the Idlib governorate border. In relevant news, the Turkish army sent a large convoy of reinforcements to southern Idlib on Sunday to prevent the Syrian military from further advancing into the militant pocket in northwestern Syria. 
This year's annual Diplomans Wine Extravaganza Festival was held Monday in The Hawk, and Armenia was represented at this event for the first time with a wide range of wine, brandy and vodka. Armenia's ambassador to the Netherlands, the Grand Balayan, also took part in this event. In his words, Armenia's such participation in the Diplomans Wine Extravaganza Festival for the first time is an exemplary manifestation of cooperation between the Armenian Embassy and the Armenian community of the Netherlands. The visitors of the festival positively assessed the Armenian alcoholic beverages that were presented at this event. The Matador Network website dedicated to tourism and culture has devoted an article to Armenia as a destination for this summer. The article is titled, Armenia is the most fascinating place you can visit this summer. As reads the article, Asia is on the rise as a popular summer vacation destination and occupying a unique cultural space that isn't quite European or Asian. Armenia is one of the most picturesque and diverse places in the world. If you want your next vacation to be truly unique, you should visit Armenia. Whether you visit for the stunning mountain landscapes and hikes, the ancient and delicious food or the rich history, you won't regret making Armenia your first stop in the South Caucasus. As the first country in the world to adopt Christianity as a state religion in 301 AD, Armenia is home to the first Christian cathedral in the world. The Echmiadzin Cathedral completed in 303 is still standing in the town of Echmiadzin and is the religious center of all Armenians to this day. Now let us represent to your attention a song Bakhjur Kuka. <laughs> Find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.